Hey everybody, it's your good pal Nick Nack. I just want to let everyone know that I got up real early this morning and man, it was so worth it. I got so much pussy. Nick Nack's Plastic Planet. With your host, it's Nick Mack. Welcome back to the Plastic Planet. I am your host, Nick Mack. Um, welcome to this, this exciting episode of the Plastic Planet. Now, just a little bit of housekeeping I need to get out of the way before we dive into all this. I know in my last video, I had Uncle Pat over here. It was our New Year's... Uh, a fantastic figure kind of uh, roundup, and uh, we did we did tease on his brand new um, Hot Toys Batman v Superman Battle Damage Batman. We do have that full review coming. Um, I just I just it's coming up in the next couple days, but something has kind of transpired here that I really am excited to talk about, and I want to get going on it right now. And I am talking about yes. Voltron. I found all five, all five uh, Playmates Voltron lines at my local Target stores. It was a hunt. I rarely get excited about retail, mass retail items. I am admittedly a bit of an action figure snob, but oh, this got my juices going. This is so cool, and I can't wait to get into this. So let's do this. Let's. I'm going to show you all five Voltron lines, and we're going to combine them into the big guy. That's right. That's right. We're going to combine them into Voltron. It's going to be awesome. All right. <laughs> Oh wow, and here they are in all their glory. Now, I obviously was so excited last night, I actually unboxed Blackline, which I found yesterday um, at a Target store, fairly far away from my house, closer down by my work. Found him, unboxed him, and then thought, well, crap, I should have like unboxed him on camera. Uh, my bad, That's a, I guess that's a rookie YouTuber mistake. I was just so excited to get in there and get to it that I unboxed him beforehand. Now, the Red Lion I teased last week, or I didn't tease, but I showed him off last week in the package um, and you know what? I, I really didn't know if I should do a full review on these guys because, you know, they are a mass retail item and they're going to be everywhere. But you know what? They're just so cool. And I bet a lot of people are going to want to see Voltron himself to see if they if they weigh if they want to buy these or not. Um, I think they're going to want to. I think these are going to be very popular. Um, I've had a hard time tracking them down myself. And wow, I just think they're so cool. And anyway, here is green, yellow and blue in their respective packages. Let's break those guys open for you. All right. Alrighty, And here they are out of their box. Wow, I mean, I am like a proud hunter on the Zimbabwe right now with my trophies I've found in the, in the uh, mass retail jungle. This is awesome. These figures are totally cool, and this is totally worth getting. Anyway, I'm going to go into, into depth on, on these guys, and this is great. I'm loving these guys, and I think you guys are too. Alrighty, so if you are a fan of 1980s uh, memorabilia, TV shows, and whatnot, even if you're not a huge action figure person, you're going to love absolutely love these Voltron lines. I think they are so cool. Here they are once again as they are patrolling the planet Eris looking for Robies. Really, really cool. I'm going to go line by line and just kind of show you the highlights here. Um, again, you know, my reviews are, are just, you know, just sort of passing. I, I don't get too thorough in these things, but it's just to give you a, a nice, a nice feeling of, of, of whether, whether something is, is, is worthy of, of your personal collection. So anyway, without further ado, let's get going. Alrighty, so we're going to start out with the Green Lion. And the reason I'm starting out with the Green Lion is because this was actually the first lion that I got as a kid um, back way, way back in 1985, 1984, something like that. Maybe 1986, I don't remember. But anyway, it was I, I got the Green Lion along with the 3 and 3 quarter inch Pidge. Now, these were the Panache Place Voltron toys, not the Matchbox ones. The difference was the Panache Place were actually like uh, plastic, whereas the, the Matchbox obviously was die-cast metal. Um, not to mention the Panache Place are actually really, really way out of scale because the action figures were, were designed to fit inside of the, of, the, of the lions. And so they were almost like little tiny spaceships, which is, you know, I mean, honestly, you know, we all know for, from the cartoon and from the comics and whatnot that the, 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 you know, the pilots can, you know, pile it inside the head, whereas, you know, the figures actually opened up a canopy and slid into the body. So um, they're way out of scale, but it's still, you know, really, really fun when you're eight years old um, or nine years old, however old I was. But anyway, so just out of nostalgia, I'm starting out with the Green Lion. And just like the Panache Place uh, Green Lion, as well as the Matchbox uh, version, um, these these lions, these Playmate uh, Voltron toys come with everything you would want from those as far as accessory wise. Um, they've got the, the little missile launchers that fit on the hip or on the on the front leg. Um, the, 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 the 
blades that they used and the and other little gimmicks. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. But another thing that's really cool that you're going to note is um is that these blades fit really, really nicely inside of their lion's mouth. Um, there's a little tiny tab there. As you can see, that gray tab. And it fits right, I don't know if you can see, but there's a slot for it to fit inside of the mouth there. So, you know, it doesn't like the mouth, the, the, the Voltron line itself doesn't, the, the mouth doesn't hold it in place, but the tab does. And so it fits really, really nice and snug in there. So great for display, even great for playability if, if you're buying these for a kid. Um, so there's that, there's that, that, that nice option there too. So anyway, here's the green line. Really, really cool. Uh, the missiles do shoot and they, they shoot really well, actually. I've hit myself in the face a number of times setting these up already. So again, I mean, nothing but rave here. These are great. These are fantastic. Here's the green lion. One more time. Moving on to the yellow lion, which is really, really cool, which of course is piloted by Hunk, everyone's favorite lovable big doofus, kind of like our own Uncle Pat. But we love, love, love Hunk, and we love Uncle Pat as well. So green li uh, yellow lion is, has got exactly the same types of accessories, but obviously appropriate for the yellow lion. Um, it's, it's got the little blade up there, and again, same same deal. Um, the, the, the head articulation on the legs, just probably because of its the necessity out of the transforming um, role each, each line has, actually has a little more articulation. It kind of can go up and down a little bit, which is kind of nice, whereas the, the, the green line, and I'll show you in a minute, the red line don't necessarily have those options. But um, so that's kind of cool. It's got a lot of different articulation, can move up and down. Um, and, you know, I don't know if I didn't show this on the green line, but, uh, you know, the articulation on the legs is great. There's several points of articulation here. So you can work these guys into, you know, all kinds of different kind of prowling poses and stuff if, you, if you're going to display them in the lion mode on your shelf. Um, so that's fantastic. Um, yeah, I'm super stoked about this. This is, these are really, really cool. So there is yellow lion for you. And same kind of deal here with Lance's Red Lion, which is also very, very cool. As you can see, it's the same, basically the same mold as the Green Lion, as it should be. Um, again, there's no articulation in the up or down movement of the uh, lion head, uh, which you saw on the blue line or on the yellow lion, and it'll be on the blue line as well. Um, so, you know, there's that's that's sort of a, that's unfortunate, but still, it's still really cool. Still got the same ability to hold the weapon, just like the other lions. Um, it's got all the accessories you'd expect from Red Lion, including the missile launcher. Um, and again, you know, still same, really, really cool. Um, tail, tail, obviously, when you transform these, the tails obviously can go into the body. And I'll show that in a second. Uh, this is, this, these are really easy to transform into Voltron. Um, a lot easier than the Legendary Defender uh, lines. Actually, I don't have the, 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 this scale of the Legendary Defender lines. I have the die cast version, but these are much easier than that to get into Voltron, which I'm going to show here momentarily. But anyway, here's Red Lion. Looking sweet. And here is originally Sven and later piloted by Princess Elora, uh, Blue Lion. And uh, again, like just like Yellow Lion, it does have that that nice uh, um, articulation in the head, so it can move up and down and a little bit side to side. I don't know if you can see that, but a little bit side to side. That's kind of nice. Um, again, same same deal with the legs. Uh, very articulated. Lots of different poses you can get these in. Um, and again, nice missiles, and, and they do shoot really nice. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can do that on camera for you. Maybe, of course. Now I can't. Again, I was getting shot in the face with these earlier, but now I can't get it. Up oh, there it goes. Now I couldn't get it. Shoot. Anyway, that, that's really nice. That's really cool. Um, so th there's a nice poke your eye out feature there. Um, but again, yeah, really cool. And the paint job, the paint apps I haven't mentioned. Paint apps are really nice on these. I'm sure you can see that for yourself, but <laughs> I'm really excited. These paint apps are really, really cool. So. Anyway, that is the Blue Lion. <laughs> These are so cool. Alrighty, last but not least is the Black Lion, which was piloted by Keith. Uh, Black Lion is really, really cool, as you can see. He's slightly larger than the other lions, which for obvious reasons, because he forms the head and the body of Voltron. Um, as a consequence of which, he also comes at a slightly higher price point. Um, the red, green, yellow, and blue lions were pr uh, are retailed at $17.99. He is retailing at $29.99 at Target currently. Um, I'm sure, I don't know if these are going to show up in other stores or not. I don't know if these are Target exclusives or what's going on with that. That was the only store I could find these at was Target. And unfortunately, I had to drag my poor wife around to Target stores for the last week. So she was really relieved when I found the last three lions this morning in one shot. Since she was, I think she was getting a little tired of lion hunting with me. 
not the adventurer she is. No, 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 no. But anyway, that's not here nor there. But anyway, yeah, so he does come with a slightly higher price point. Another reason for that is because he does come with over 60 sound effects and voice phrases from uh, the show. I'm not sure if these are from the show or not, but some of these are kind of cheesy. Um, they're fun, but they're kind of cheesy. Um, but, you know, then again, when was uh, when was, when was was the original 84 Voltron uh, uh, TV series any, uh, any bit of cinematic uh, masterpiece? Nevertheless, kind of cheesy, but fun. Um, yeah, that's cool. It's got the Voltron roar. A lot, it's got a lot of key phrases on here, and what's really cool about these is that once you start forming up Voltron, which I'm going to show you in a minute, um, it, the, the, it kind of gets interactive with the other lions a little bit, so to speak, and you kind of get to hear some of the other characters kind of kind of start ch chirping in a little bit, which is kind of funny. Uh, so anyway, really fun stuff. So we're going to get to that right now. I'm going to start forming Voltron here in just a second, but um, as you can see, the, the black lion is just like the other lions. is still really cool. Nice uh, leg articulation and feet articulation on this guy. Um, the mouth, which has the head of Voltron in it. The head can be kind of shoved up into the roof of the mouth there, if you can't tell. So you can kind of have his mouth open without seeing um, without seeing Voltron's face, which is kind of cool from if you're going to display these in the, in the lion mode. So that that's really awesome, I think. Um, but anyway, hey, without further ado, let's start forming Voltron so I can kind of show you some of the other some of the other voice and phrase features on this thing and kind of show you how cool this thing is. Oh, oh, and one more one. Yeah, I keep hitting that button. One more cool thing, um, or not so cool thing actually, is my only criticism of this piece is the uh, micro uh, the uh, the uh, uh, speaker is is in the chest area or in the in the waist area right here and really really visible, especially if you display this as Voltron. That's a minor gripe, but still, that kind of sucks. But uh, I wish they could have hidden that a little better. Um, and the uh, the speakers on this is actually are actually really impressive. It's very loud. We will defend this planet. And cheesy too, but really, really loud. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. If you're buying this for your kids, that might be a bad thing. If you're buying it for yourself and you're married, that might be a bad thing. But uh, still, Votor, really your loud. Evil forces will never defeat us. A little cheesy, but but fun, but fun. So anyway, all right, let's get on. Let's 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 form Voltron. Alrighty, so I'm just going to show you guys a few, a little bit how, how these are transformed. They're really, really easy. Um, so the green line after you take all the accessories off, obviously. And then, it, again, it's so easy. It's just like in the cartoon kind of. The, you know, the legs kind of go up. They lock into place like that. You know, done. And then the other leg goes up, locks into place like that. Done. Easy. You repeat over here. So there, there, and one more done easy really really easy now the tail what you can do is you can take the, the there's a there's a peg here that the arm fits into you know the black lion or the body or the torso that comes out and then it makes it easier for the tail to get tucked in you just you just kind of push on the tail a little bit and you can see you can kind of see in there where the the base of the tail kind of comes out and you can almost manipulate it a little bit and that tucks it in real nice if I can do it of course, now I can't. There he is. This is on camera. There it is. So that tucks in real nice. It's just a little little stub sticking out, and the tail's in there. So here's the arm already ready to form Voltron. All righty, so now I'm going to uh, transform uh, Black Lion into the head and torso, which is obviously a little more involved, but again, this is so easy. These are easy. That's the only reason I'm doing it on camera, because they're actually easy. Um, and I have my son in the background transforming uh, one of the legs as we speak, uh, the yellow line actually. So first thing, there's a tab here that opens up and then you can just basically, you can just flip the uh, leg inside like that, close it, snap it down, legs gone. Again over, the front legs gone. Again over here, same deal, opens up and it's kind of cool too because there's like, there's like some little like gears in there and stuff or, you know, and I don't, I don't think they're actually gears, but they, they look kind of cool inside there. So that's kind of neat. So again, the leg flips up in there. The, uh, black, the black tab comes down, locked, done. So then you can move this forward. So the, the chest plate is complete. Um, and now, now, another thing that's really cool too is this does have an off button right here. So when you don't have to keep hitting that side tab and turning it on. So that's a nice feature. Thank you very much. Uh, the wings kind of are a little bit, are a little bit weird. You got to kind of be careful with those. Um, they do lock together right there, so you can pull those apart and then flip them up into place like that. Pull them up into place like that. Ooh, pretty cool. And the lion tail comes up just like it did on all the other toys growing up. Pretty cool. 
and then the legs come down the uh, lion paws get straightened out like that go straight just like like the matchbox version so pretty cool and then i'll form the head <laughs> yep pretty cool then the the uh, face comes down out of the top of the lion's mouth and the uh, little ears or whatever they are come out and boom you got yourself voltron's body freaking awesome right really cool all right, so now I'll demonstrate Blue Lion to you, which is the leg, one of the legs. Um, so again, this is, you know, they all transform the same, the, the legs and the arms respectively. Um, so again, you're just, you're actually doing a reverse here with the legs. They kind of go up like that, which is pretty cool. So you sit like in there like that. Same over here, just pull the leg back, kind of hyperextending it the other way and pulling it up like that. So actually that creates a nice little back leg for support there, if you can't see. And then of course, like every Voltron toy for the last 35 years, the tail goes in. Same difference, same deal with the back legs. They just fold up. This is great, because I know in the Legendary Defender Voltron, you know, the arms and, and legs of the lines actually fit into the line itself on these. Really simple, they just stay on the sides, which I kind of like. Simplicity sometimes is, is bliss. And then of course, the uh, head of the lion folds up, and there's your leg. Bang, all right. Get this together. Let's form some Voltron. Let's form Voltron. Okay, so what is really charming about this particular version of Voltron, I think. Now, and again, I don't have a ton of Voltron collectibles. Um, the ones that I have, are, you know, the ones that I had when I, the one I had when I was a kid, the Panache Place version version I had when I was a kid, and then I do have a, uh, which you're going to see here in a moment. I do have a, uh, a Taiwanese replica of the old Matchbox. Uh, uh, Voltron from 1981, or the Lion Bot version from 1981. So I don't have a, I don't have a lot of uh, experience with, with with Voltron, especially higher end Voltron. So I don't know if this is like a new thing. But in this version, which I think is really really cool, is there's a bit of a roll call when you start assembling him. If if you got the power on, uh, the power switch turned on, um, they kind of they kind of inter. I keep hitting that button, but they kind of interact with each other because there's a little tiny uh, metal sensor in. The galaxy is about to be secure. Yes, thank you, Keith. Form Voltron. Yeah, we're working on it, Keith. So there is a little tiny electronic sensor there, and then there's a little tiny tab on the feet that you can push. Come on, team. Let's get out of here fast. And that makes more sounds. So when you start putting the legs in, uh, in it'll it'll start interacting. So this is really cool. So we'll start out with Red Lion, which I did last night, and it's Form like, Voltron. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. So here we go. We're gonna put Red Lion's uh, arm in the socket. And check this out. This is really cool. Red Lion, all systems go. So there's Lance checking in. That's really cool. Let's see what happens when we put in Green Lion. Set to go, Keith. All right, there's Pidge. Pidge. We're going to need the yellow lion, hunk. Yeah, and then and then it's 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 amazing because like if you don't have all the lions. The, the black lion starts missing its friends, which is really funny. Princess, we're a team, and we really need you. So, gotta get to the store and get those other lions, asshole, because Voltron's lonely. So, we're gonna start plugging in, we're gonna start fitting in the other ones now. Um, I think blue lion goes on this side, so I think it's just like, and I'm not sure, I'm not even reading the directions, I'm just going off of what I remember from the Matchbox uh, version, but it, there's a little tab back here in the lion's butt, and you can just insert the, 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 the black lion's... Uh, rear feet into it. It's just like the, the, the Matchbox version. So we'll just try to insert that in there. And, yep. We're going to need the yellow lion, hunk. Yeah, it just, just snapped right in there. No problem. That's easy. This is fun. This is a really fun figure. So now, last piece, we'll just snap the yellow lion in. Again, same deal. There's a back insert back there. And you just slide that, that, that black lion's rear foot in. And it hits that tab, whoops, which is really cool. And we've got Voltron, baby. Ready to form Voltron. You're formed. Interlock. Yes. Dynatherms connected. Oh, this is so cool. Infracells up. Mega thrusters are go. Form feet and legs. Form arms and body. And I'll form the head. Go Voltron. Yeah. Form blazing sword. We have that right here. So really fun. This is a really fun, fun uh, thing they got going. And the interaction on it is just amazingly fun. And I actually, this is the first time I formed it was on camera with you guys. So that was fun too. So, you know, my impressions are your impressions here. And uh, I don't know about you, but I'm really impressed. Aren't you? I'm really impressed.
This is really, really cool. I wanted to thank my son's been helping me out. Gotcha, come on over here. Um, this is my son, aka Bat Boy. He was really impressed with the two. What do you think? Yeah, that's cool. It's really cool. Yeah, he's a he's a man of many words, folks. So <laughs> so he's really impressed. I'm really impressed. This is really 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 cool. So we're gonna I'm gonna show you a few more angles on this guy, and uh, we'll wrap this review up. All right, so there he is forming Blazing Sword, which is really really cool. And again, there's that nice little uh, li uh, uh, pay or a slot in the up top of the lion's mouth. So the sword fits in there beautifully, as you can tell. One downside I've noticed, and I noticed this last night when I was sort of putting them together, is there's not a lot of articulation when the arms hey, here. Talk to me. All right. Are you hurt? No, I can handle it. All right, I'm glad, Pidge. You know, I keep hitting that button. I'm going to turn them off for a second. Um, so, but one down, downside I did notice with this thing, um, with the uh, there's a, there's a little bit of a limited arm uh, articulation here, at least from what I can tell. I don't want to force it too much, but you can't really move the lion inside of the the peg inside of the arm slot uh, without moving up the whole chest piece. So you can move it up, but it it, it fractures the front uh, of the chest. Um, so that sort of sucks. But again, that's a mild gripe. Um, a, really awesome and again he holds his weapon really really nice and there's 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 a lot of articulation in the elbow uh you know there's a nice a uh, little less than 90 degrees there still nice um and what is really cool and i've never seen this on a voltron action figure before um is you can move the head a little bit that's nice so you can move the head around a little bit it, he kind of fits down in a little slot there but you can kind of lift him out you can look up look around and then you can also do some really cool like um like flying poses with him because so, his head can look up, he can you know, move the lion head up. So you know he can do some flying poses, which is really really nice. Um, so yeah, there's a that's a lot of fun, a lot of fun options here. Um, again, I really wish there was some articulation, that, you know, some movement you could do inside of this part here. There doesn't seem to be. Maybe there is, but I'm not forcing that guy. Uh, I don't want to break it. But uh, other than that, I mean, really, really mild criticisms. And, and my only other criticism, which I stated earlier, is that, uh, that speaker, uh, which is right here, which gets kind of distracting when you have Voltron fully formed. But again, mild, mild criticism. Really, really cool. All right, so I'm going to get my ugly butt off camera and show you this, this figure a little bit, do a little 360 of him, and wrap this up. Alrighty, and here is one more shot with Voltron and all of his accessories, and that Diet Coke can was left in there for scale purposes. Um, so again, really, really awesome, and the green line did come with the flaming star shield, whatever that is, which is, it was, has come with every single Voltron toy for the last 30, you know, 33 years, 34 years, but is, was rarely seen in the original cartoon for some reason. But nevertheless, he, that, that is there as well, so you get the full Voltron uh, experience with this set, which is phenomenally awesome. I'm sure at some point maybe they'll they'll put these all together in, in one gift set, which they should. Um, but for right now, just you know, hit your targets, guys. Get out there and find this guy because he is awesome. All right, so here he is, one last time by himself, and just gonna do a couple quick comparison shots. Alrighty, and here is the Playmates 16-inch uh, Voltron uh, with the, with a, actually that is a Taiwanese um, bootleg lion bot um, reproduction of the 1981 Matchbox uh, Voltron, um, or Voltron 3 as it was called in that set. But, uh, and I, I got this one just, just last fall, which it's really cool. And it is just a nice reproduction of the, of the 81, which is a very, which is, you know, goes for a pretty high price point on eBay, but now, nevertheless, here are those two together. Alrighty, and here he is next to the Legendary Defender Diecast Metal Lion Voltron uh, figure, which I picked up last spring, and it is actually being displayed there on a Sideshow Collectibles Star Wars display stand. Uh, because it kind of sits nice on that, and I had some standing issues with that figure. But here he is next to that. And I wish I had the Legendary Defender 16-inch uh, ver uh, version to show you off uh, th those two together. That would make this video really, really awesome, but I never bought those. And after seeing this guy now, I'm actually tempted to do so, but I may be playing the clearance game on that one and trying to get that one on the cheap. So, anyway, those are those two together. And here he is standing next to a Voltron 1 bootleg action figure I found on the cheap at a Marshalls department store several months ago. All 
Alrighty, and finally here he is looking absolutely amazingly awesome with my old Panache Place Voltron figures from the 1980s. Wickedly cool. Alrighty, so that's going to wrap up this episode of The Plastic Planet. Thanks once again for joining me, and thanks once again for checking out this really, really freaking awesome Playmates 1984 Voltron with me. Um, like I said a couple times in the video, he is widely available. Well, I don't know about widely, but he is available at Target stores right now. Uh, so it might be worth getting in the car right now and going out and trying to find some of these lions because they are awesome, as you can see. So, anyway. Yeah, anyway, once again, thanks for uh, thanks for joining me on the Plastic Planet. Uh, once again, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I'm gonna do that whole unboxing of the uh, Batman versus Superman Battle Damage Hot Toys Batman with Uncle Pat. Um, that's coming up in the next few days, so keep an eye out for that video. And uh, once again, you know what? Hey, please like and subscribe. Need that to happen. Grow on this channel, and I uh, want to keep it going. So uh, thank you so much, and thank you to all my new subscribers and my old ones as well. All right, guys. Well, you know what? Get out there, guys, because there is new fun shit to be had, and I'm sure you might have a gift card or two burning hole in your pocket, so get out and spend it on this, because it is awesome. All right, till next time. All right, so I'm, I'm like supposed to be on a diet right now, but have you guys tried these chocolate twink cake Twinkies? Frickin' delicious, man. So good!